What's up, guys? So today, we are going to clear out the rest of these bales that we had bailed up. And I also have a new tractor, a mod, that I'm going to showcase in this stream. So once we get enough viewers, then we will reveal it. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you send out the stream to everyone that you think you might like to watch, and uh, we'll get it going. So for those of you who don't know, this is Oakfield Farm. Um, it's a new mo uh, new ish map. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun to play. Actually, I don't want to put those there. That's right. These are going over here for right now. And I want to be over here. That's the brick. Forgot I changed up my. Uh, <laughs> I changed up my controls a little bit. Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> I have a cat that always likes to hang out on my lap whenever I play games, and apparently right then she wanted to leave. <laughs> So how are you guys doing today? The chat is open. Uh, I prefer that if you guys are going to chat it up, which you may, uh, just make sure we keep it fr uh, family friendly. Uh, there are quite a few younger people that I'm sure will probably be watching, so let's try to keep it okay for them. I think this stream will probably go until about 3.30ish, 3.40ish maybe. I got a thing I got to go to with my wife and my family, my parents. Uh, they're going to be doing pizza, which I'm super excited about. Pizza's always good, especially when you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> Free pizza is the best pizza. Sure, you guys agree. So, I am new 
not only to streaming, but I am newish to the YouTube community. So uh, I do I do appreciate any kind of feedback uh, that I get from people who either watch a lot of uh, YouTube streams and videos or have their own kind of channel. Uh, I definitely will appreciate feedback uh, as long as it's criti uh, um Yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, like reasonable. Like just going up and saying, hey, you're the worst. F you guy. <laughs> That's not constructive is the word I'm looking for. As long as it's constructive criticism, I'm all for it. Um, I don't normally. It's pretty hard to hurt my feelings, so fire away. Feel free to leave those in the comments or comment on the uh, in the chat. Man, this is refusing to go away. That health is low. You have grass, you have water, why is your health low? That's the one I wanted to do. All right, so last bail. And then this will be all getting stored away. Um, the We only have like, what, nine sheep, I think. I'm not expecting them to go through it too fast. Um, and I'm gonna, since we only have it in round bales, I'm gonna probably try and uh, wait until it gets to just about as low as you can get before you really start to worry. Um, that way we're not wasting hay. Darn it, ran into the pole. There we go. Nope, I want to go backwards. There we go. How about that? Yay! <laughs> All right, so what are our sheep at? That's the real question. Uh, let's see here. So 
So cleanliness is at 91%. Water is full. Hay and grass is full. Uh, so we're good there. Let's go check out their eating area just to see what 91% cleanliness looks like. Okay, that's not that bad. So one little section. We could almost, if we had a shovel. <laughs> if, the, if shovels worked in farm sim, that would be awesome. There we go. That, that went away. Guess we just had to check on him. Now, we still have to plant, what were we going to plant in, what was it, 13 or 34? I think it's 34 we have. Oh, yeah, 34. So we were going to plant, let's see, we have... Barley at 9. Canola at 13 and 34 used to have barley on it, but now it's empty. So let's do, let's see. Now I do have seasons on. I think we wanted to plan soybean, but would still too still too cold for that maybe tomorrow it is it is just about that time it's what eight o'clock in the afternoon so yeah let's call it a night we'll go see if it's uh warm enough tomorrow to plant the soybean so let's turn this sucker off turn the headlights off and let's go to bed this is a nice area so it's not like we have to close our doors just leave them open screw it all right Good night, guys. All right. That was a nice rest. All right. So we are at See, we're still at 48 degrees ground temperature still. Which is somewhat aggravating. Because we either have to decide now if we're going to plant soybean or if we're going to do canola. We already have one straw crop. And that's barley. And we have that on nine. 10 is our pasture for grass. 13 is canola. So that'll be our bank field. 34. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go clean up the sheep area with...
do we have actually do we have a bucket oh <laughs> that just kind of revealed what we were getting <laughs> oops hopefully you guys didn't see that yeah we need a bucket like a just a light material bucket so let's see universal bucket 1400 bucks We don't need a silage cutter. All right, let's just get a regular light material bucket. That'll do. Black. Yeah, sure. And if we go here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Reset. I'm pretty sure it resets to the farm. All right, and off we go. I guess what we'll do is just for now we'll drop off this grapple right here. There we go. I'm never gonna make that turn, but that's all right. We could probably drop off this weight too. We're not really picking up. Uh, bales anymore there we go all right so pretty much what we're about to do is we're going to go clean up the sheep pen uh it doesn't really need it but we don't really have too much more to do I'm going to up the ante to 120 because we're pretty much good until we can plant the soybean. Um, and we can't do that yet because our ground temperature isn't up to 50 degrees. There we go. That should make it at 100%. Hmm. Guess it's too full. <laughs> Which means now I have a bucket full of grass or hay. Okay, whatever. That'll be fine. I've had worse. Sorry, sheep. Just ran over your head. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Close off this gate here now that we're done there for at least a foreseeable future. Oh, and it's supposed to rain, so that's good. Hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow. Hopefully it rains today and... Ah, uh, that's aggravating. So... Where are we going to put these work tools? Where do you guys think we should put these work tools? OK. 
Okay. People are... This barn here? Chat? Is this the barn you're talking about? Yes, this barn? Okay. Overwhelming... <laughs> Overwhelming response of this barn as the work tool barn. So this will be the work tool barn. one I guess we'll just leave the uh, is this I don't know why is that not okay that's fine whatever it's not closing all the way that's weird I guess we'll leave the loader arms on this work tool because uh, I don't think we're gonna need the loader arms for a little bit yet Okay, boom, done, and then the weights, where should we put these weights, guys, you know what, let's put them over there, next to this shed here, I don't know why this seemed like the perfect spot, but it totally does. Alright, so our Fent is naked. Ooh. <laughs> oh my. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to reveal this tractor that we're doing. I'm super stoked about it. Uh, it is a really, really well-built mod. Um... And I think you guys are going to be just as excited about it as I am. So, without further ado, here we go. Mmm. Look at all that green. John Deere 8130. Now, I had absolutely nothing to do with making this mod. Uh, this was done... I actually got it from Mod Hub. Uh, I think a guy named Travis uploaded it, but I'm pretty sure he didn't make it himself either. Um, so obviously we have IC control. Uh, you've got the engine in there, very detailed. Uh, even can see the filters and stuff. Um, work lights up front. Uh, you can get uh, hookup trailers and stuff to the front. It's got your uh, air as you go system on it which is a uh, add-on you can open and close the door with the R key from the outside which is really cool uh, I'm pretty sure it up it does uh, accept um, it does accept your manual attaching uh, it's got so many different options of tires, like so many different options. I was going to like buy when I was testing this mod out, I was going to buy all of the options, 
but like there's like 20 options for tires uh so i just kind of like like some of them i knew kind of like what i did definitely didn't want um so i didn't get those and i like these are the michelin uh xd 27s i think with the air as you go system installed so let's check out the inside so I sees I sees everywhere um, we'll start in the front here uh, so this bottom one to the right controls your hood this one controls brings your steering wheel down and up this one brings down your visor this one puts uh, a uh, license plate on you can see oh shoot you can see this license plate right there 80 30 that's the wrong license plate <laughs> oops <laughs> so there you go there's one little whoopsie uh, then you can put front fenders on or off over here, you can put all your different computers on. So it'll be pretty cool if we ever use this for uh, doing like uh, plowing or, or uh, seeding or something like that, or like mower control, we'll put each controller, oh, we'll put each controller on. So remove that. Uh, in here is your light, which is pretty cool. I really like this because it's actually like a light. So like at night, we'll actually do this. At night, you can see your instrument panel. Check that out. Your whole instrument panel lights up when you turn your lights on. That's so cool. I actually didn't notice that until just now, guys. That is that is sweet huh and then I guess if you don't have your lights on you can illuminate your whole dash that is cool uh, here windshield wipers so that's pretty sweet I don't think the rear one works uh, this is for your warning signs right here so you can bring those in and out individually. You can lift out your rear window. This is for that warning sign. Uh, you have your buddy seat. You have your door open and close. And that's about it, guys. Uh, you know, like I said, from so far... You know, I, I love the mod. It's very detailed. It's very accurate. Uh, and it looks sweet. Got GPS. You got your horns. So you got all these work lights. Which is cool. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited about uh, getting to use this thing, guys. All right, well, that is about it for today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't get at least some kind of plowing done. Um, it's only, what, 3.11? So, yeah, we got, like, another 15 minutes here until I have to stop the, the, uh, the stream. So, all right, let's get on with it. And it's raining. Oh, cool. So it just rained overnight. That's awesome. That is good. I like it. I like it a lot. Wow, we're doing a lot of resting. There we go. <laughs> I was worried my game froze up for a second there or something. Okay, look at that. 52 degrees ground temperature. 
That is good. You know what that means? That means we can start doing our our plowing or in our plowing our seeding. So let's go ahead and get this guy going. Got to have beacons because it's like and must. All right. So we are full on fertilizer. We are full on seed. We are full on ever on everything. Yeah. Act like I can actually talk <laughs> as I screw up talking. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be. Yeah. You know what? We'll do this. We'll do this. We are going to do this. There's nothing really much else to do. I mean, we've got what? Oh, so cleanliness, we could probably, okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this on course play. Uh, we're going to go fix up the cleanliness of the sheep uh, and then we'll come back to it. So this is field 34. Yep. Uh, we're starting at our current location. Starting direction is going to be automatic. We're going to do three headlands that way and we're going to do it after we do our back and forth they're going to be smooth and fuel save option is deactivated we're going to do four wheel drive always not going to worry about diffs right now i don't think um Turn on field activated, opposite direction, last couple lanes, turning circle is 13 meters. Yeah, we're all set, guys. Uh, shoot, there we go. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, so where's our starting point? Is it all the way over there? Our starting point is all the way over there. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we're going to drive across the field. <laughs> oh, man. That figures. I think what we're going to do is that John Deere is going to be our mowing. Uh, I think we're going to keep the uh, the loader on our fent. Uh, that's going to do most of our loading, our loading, our uh, bale handling. Uh, we're just going to do most of our. Oh wait, we want. I want to do this at least for a little bit. Um, oh yeah, soybean. Uh, it's going to do most of our bale handling. It's going to do most of our uh, unloading and cleanup. There we go. Do good. What is going on here? Wait. Oh, well. We'll clean up whatever it doesn't get. So, yeah. Our fent is going to do most of our... Bale handling, cleaning of the uh, animal pens, um, and any kind of like transportation for uh, trailers and wagons and wa and uh, stuff like that when we do harvesting. Okay. Ooh, back up a little bit. There we go. So this one I want to remove. I want to back up. Because we're not handling any bales. Then this one, you're going to do right there. And there we go. Let 
Let's go clean some dirty sheep. Ooh, dirty sheep. So much for not coming back here for a while. <laughs> that one day really kind of messed with it. One day of 120 speed. All right. Sheep, I'm going to have to drive through you. Sorry. Uh, where's the meth? Didn't it say it was like 20% cleanliness? Oh. Oh. 26% health. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. That means we can just go back to... Uh... Oh, we could do... Eh, it's still springtime. We'll do our second cut in the summer. We have... We really don't have any kind of... Demand for a lot, a lot of hay yet, so... We'll do our next cut, our second cut in the summer. Which is when they normally get done. And then you do your final cut in the fall. Man, I gotta tell you guys, I'm not super, super impressed with Logitech here lately. Um... I, a lot of you guys know, I use a G920 uh, uh, driving force steering wheel. Uh, and the wheel, when it works, works great. Um, my issue that I've been having is a lot of times I have like this super specific startup regimen that I absolutely have to do or else the wheel will be all weird. Um, for instance, uh, I didn't start it up just so this time. And if I, so if I turn it to the left, like I did, and then just let it go, I'm going to just let go of my steering wheel, watch the steering wheel in the game. The steering wheel just fights itself and it just keeps bouncing back and forth. And I, so I tried that whole, like, uh, get, um, that whole, like, live chat log uh, on Logitech's customer service. What, see, look at that. I did try that whole live chat, uh, on their website. Um, and that was a joke. I sat there for probably about 30 minutes for what seemed like just a robot on the other end uh, to give me one kind of suggestion and then after that didn't work, pawned it off on some issue with Windows 10. And like, I understand that there's, I guess some additional programming or whatever that you have to do with Windows 10, but I mean, it was, it was probably the worst customer service I've ever had from any company whatsoever. And it's it's it was just really disappointing, guys. I I hate talking bad about companies especially when they're as big and as known as Logitech cuz then it just makes me sound like I'm just complaining. But it I don't know, guys. It was just super disappointing. I really wasn't a huge fan. So what we're going to do is after this next, after this guy's done here, we're going to go ahead and stop him, and then we're going to take over. Stop driver. Okay. So, close this out. Close that out. And, oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. No, don't do that. Okay. 
turn it around. And we are going to use ridge markers as well. Ooh, I'm not used to this. go and we're plow and we're seating not plowing seating well yeah no we're seating <laughs> I was gonna say well we're kind of plowing but we're really not we're kind of tilling to about, ah, uh, say there. There we go. Now, technically, we do have GPS, so we could do GPS, and we could lane skip but I kind of have to review the controls on on GPS. I'm not entirely sure I... Oh, that's... I wanted to do that. Did I do the right side? I did. Sweet. Kind of have to review controls that I have set up for GPS. Uh, then we can go ahead and do lane skip and stuff like that. Since the Massey does have a receiver for GPS. follow that because I'm just going to keep going this way. We're going to look back and see that we're pretty much there. Are we going to make this turn? We will. Oh, no, I did not want to do that. There we go. Now we can get her. There. Now we're going back straight. Nope, not that one. That one. There we go. <laughs> Plowing up some of my seeds. It's not nice of me. So, I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to do a live stream of Subnautica. Uh, so, any of you guys that are watching this now, uh, if you are into Subnautica, uh, go ahead and watch me then. Um, not 100% sure when I'm going to start, but I will schedule it. That way, if you guys subscribe to me, you'll be able to see uh, when... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. When that... No, nope, I didn't want to do that. There we go. When that video is going to show up. There we go. So then around here we might be able to no I don't think we're gonna get away with that there we go and we're off again. So 
So probably, I don't know. I actually, this is the first time I've done a live stream. So I'm not sure how that video, when it uploads, because I did have it automatically upload to my videos uh, as like an archive. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how that's going to upload. If it uploads to the point where I can manipulate it, uh, I'll probably do a uh, time lapse of this with some cool techno music. There's that, and we're gonna drop here and do that. Boom, look at that. Kind of getting the hand of, hang of this again. So we're still good. We got 80% seed and 67% fertilizer. So we're still good in that aspect. Right about there will be all right. All right, guys, it is 3.30. It's about all the time we got for the rest of the day here today. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do a live stream of Subnautica probably tomorrow. Uh, so if you guys want to chime in on that, you are more than welcome. Uh, my name's Scuba Steve. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way you can know when these live streams will be popping up. Uh, go ahead and like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you did dislike it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Adios.